the discriminant and the nature of quadratic roots, example 3. We're given an equation, px squared plus p plus q times x plus q is equal to 0. We're being asked firstly to show that the roots are real for all values of p and q, where p and q are real numbers themselves. If the roots are real, it's because the discriminant, that is b squared minus 4ac, is not negative. It could be greater than or equal to 0. We might imagine why this would be the case because in the quadratic formula you don't want to end up with the square root of a negative number inside the formula giving imaginary roots. Okay, let's look at this equation. The x squared coefficient a is p, the x coefficient b is p plus q, and the constant term c is equal to q. Let's sub these values into the discriminant formula to see what we end up with. So the discriminant is p plus q squared minus 4 times p by q. We might expand the square here. So when we expand uh, p plus q to b squared, squared, we square the first part, that's p squared, multiply the two terms and double it, so that's plus 2pq, and square the second term, that's q squared, and then we have the minus 4pq. We can see that we can simplify this because we have a 2pq and a minus 4pq giving minus 2pq. Now, you should on this course recognize that p squared minus 2pq plus q squared is a perfect square. It is p minus q multiplied by p minus q. Um, if you factorize it, as I'm doing here, you would see that that's the case. Or if you multiply p minus q by p minus q, you would see you get this result. So it's a result that probably should be learned of or recognized and familiar to the student. So we have that the discriminant is equal to p minus q to be squared. Now what we know is if we square something, uh, it can't be negative. So we've kind of proven what we wanted to prove. So if we square p minus q, um, the answer to that has to be positive, given that p and q themselves are real numbers. So the discriminant must be greater than or equal to zero. So therefore we have proven that the roots for all values of p and q uh, of the given quadratic are real. In the next part, we're asked to show that the roots are rational. This is a related question. Um, if the roots are rational, it's because you can express the discriminant as a perfect square. So we've actually done that already here. So since the discriminant can be written as p minus q to be squared, it is a perfect square, therefore the roots are rational. In part three of the question, we're asked to find the roots and the factors in terms of p and q. We'll use a quadratic formula to do this. The quadratic formula says x equal to minus b plus or minus the square root of the discriminant all divided by 2a. So in this question, we see that x is equal to minus p, p plus q plus or minus the square root of the discriminant. We already have expressed this as a perfect square p minus q to b squared all divided by 2 times p. Here we see the square root and square are undoing each other. So we just get the p minus q in that part of the equation. So there's two solutions. One solution is where we subtract the square root of the discriminant. So we're going to take away p and we'll have take away negative q, which is positive q. Um, here we see that we have the q's cancelling out, adding up to zero. So we're left with minus 2p over 2p, um, and here that's just negative 1. So that's one solution. Uh, the second answer would be the positive one. So we have minus p minus q plus p minus q. And here we see that the p's cancel out, and we're left with negative 2q over 2p. And since 2 goes into 2 once, we're just left with negative q over p. So here we have the solutions. Our roots are negative 1 and negative q over p. We're also to find the factors. 
If we have the solutions, we can quickly write down the factors because they are related to each other. So if we have x equals negative 1, uh, if we rewrite that so the, we have an equation equal to 0, we could see that x plus 1 is equal to 0, so x plus 1 is the related factor. And if we have x equals minus q over p, we could see multiplying both sides by p and adding q to both sides, we see that px plus q is the related factor.